Dave, I'm embarrassed about the situation behind this door. It's bad. We haven't even moved the board full time. And this is a freaking disaster. Yeah, that doesn't look organized. No. I think I got a plan. This is Patricia. And I'm Dave. During the summer of 2020, we traveled to French Polynesia for a sailing vacation. We had such a great time that we decided to buy a sailboat when we returned. Our new Genoa Sun Odyssey 440 arrived in April of 2021. Watch as we outfit and upgrade Cavu, learn to sail first on the Texas coast, but eventually the world. All right, so this is our garage, utility room, uh, extra cabin that wasn't a cabin. And um, we've slowly been just adding stuff and tossing it back here. But I've got a plan to make this uh, work and make it more organized. All right, so step one is to get all this crap out of here. So Patricia's going to help, and we're going to take all this stuff out, and then we're going to sort it. And then we've got our organization coming in. So the plan is to use these Milwaukee pack out systems. This tray will lock down onto the floor. And then we've got a series of these nice containers and they lock into uh, the trays. So we're going to see how it works. All right, so one of the one of the uh, upgrades that we got is uh, this uh, shop vac that also runs off of a uh, battery system, which gives us a wet dry vacuum capability in here. And if this works right, it should just fit right here. Boom, locks in place. So, I don't think I could get, I mean, that's to the top right here. Nothing's going on top of that. <laughs> no, and so that's pretty much that. Let's see what else. Um, so, if you want to start bringing me some other, okay. other pieces. All right, so a quick visit to Home Depot and got some hardware, and I think we're ready to lock these things down, get them in place, and then we can start filling them up and get organization going on. Once I was happy with the layout, I installed the trays by first drilling small pilot holes and then screwing them down, making sure that the screws were short enough not to go all the way through the wood. This way, at a later date, if I need to access the areas underneath, I can simply unscrew them and remove them. The trays had tabs on each end, making it easy to line them up and keep everything nice and straight. All right, much tidier in the garage now. So you can see all of the pack out equipment. Um, we were able to get everything that we had in here, in here, but we have a lot more stuff that needs to come over so I'm probably going to add uh, maybe another stack or so uh, in order to get everything organized in here and on board. One of the things we do like about this pack out is our uh, new vacuum. This is uh, a wet dry vac that runs off of the 18 volt uh, Milwaukee 
batteries and uh, we'll have a convenient uh, way to clean the boat now uh, vacuum up any little spills and stuff but overall much tidier in here everything is secured and uh, still got space back there you can kind of see our vent we had to leave uh, leave a space for that and I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, but I'm a little disappointed that we ran out of storage space again in here, and we're gonna have to add another tower. But it's coming along. I definitely think it's better than what we had, or lack of. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, definitely more convenient in here and uh, more accessible. And we uh, we did make labels for everything we put mm -hmm. in here. So uh, that way we'll be able to find it fairly easy. Uh, I still need, I need an electrical box. Uh, we need uh, spares. Um, we've got spare parts that we're gonna need to, to store. Uh, I still have very few tools on board that, that are coming on board. So we still got a, a lot more stuff we got to pack into this space. Mm-hmm. Never enough room. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> but this boat can sleep six. Yeah. This boat sleeps two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the drawing board.